What is going on guys, welcome back to another video on the Rugby Channel and today we're going to be, well, today's video is going to be interesting because as you guys know, a couple of weeks ago I went ahead and asked the company to make some custom made rugby shirts for me uh, because I had some trouble getting them. I really wanted the Brazil one and I wanted one from the Major League Rugby and I wanted one from the South American League as well. Uh, and obviously it's almost impossible to buy them over here in the UK and if I was to order them the custom charges would cost you loads of money so I went ahead and asked around a load of companies to ask basically will they make this kit for me uh, and a lot of them were saying no some of them were like getting me to sign legal agreements saying that I own the rights for these logos and I don't so I couldn't sign them uh, and then I found a, managed to find one obviously I can't reveal the name of it let's get into the video Welcome back to another rugby video. Please make sure you go ahead and smash that like button to show your support for the channel. And if you are new, please go ahead and subscribe. We upload rugby videos every single week guaranteed. So please click the notification button so you don't miss out. Okay, so basically in today's video, I'm going to literally put them on and then we're going to talk about them. So first up, we have the Seattle Seawolves. So here it is. Uh, it was a fan-made shirt. It wasn't like a replica of the kit. But as you can see, it's pretty decent quality. Uh, here's the Seattle logo, massive in the middle. X Blades, which was the uh, the old uh, kit supply which they used to have, uh, and then we have the Major League Rugby by here. I could have had like things printed on the sleeves, but it would have cost me a lot more money. But overall, it's pretty good. The quality is pretty good as well. It's like uh, it's like proper into the fabric, so it's pretty comfortable to wear. Um, it's a nice color, and it's decent. So yeah, I probably about out of ten, I'd imagine I probably give it about. For an unofficial t-shirt, this is probably an 8. Or maybe a 7. Probably a 7. Okay, so next up we have the Corinthians from the SLAR. As you can see here, the SLAR logo is there. Uh, so basically, this one was quite a basic one. It's kind of the same style as the Seawolves one, but obviously in black. Uh, the Flash, as you can see, Flash there, which is the official kit supplier for, uh, well, mainly the Brazilian teams. Well, yeah, I know it's, it's the official kit supply for the Corinthians. I don't know about the rest of the SLAR teams anyway. Uh, and here's the Corinthians logo, as you can see. Uh, I was always quite a fan of the logo because it's a very like seaside sort of theme to it. And I quite like it. And we've got the SLAR logo there. Like I said, I could have had things on the sides, but it would have cost me way too much money. Uh, and the Corinthians don't actually have a kit, uh, kit sponsor either. So this is basically a replica version of the kit that they have. So yeah, I mean, out of compare this one to the Seawolves one, Although they look the same, this one feels a lot softer. Uh, so probably like the Seawolves one was a seven. So with this one, uh, probably probably about a nine. I feel like this is the one I might probably might wear the most. Okay, so up next and finally, which is probably the one you guys have been waiting for the most, is the Brazilian top in which I am wearing right now. This is the only Brazil top that I could get made, uh, and it's also yeah, well, it, it's trying to it's making it to be a replica but it's not the original kit has like a nice green fading down here obviously I can't get that on a t-shirt so this is the Brazil top so as you can see we have flash again up here uh, we have the two logos there and we have the official sponsor of Bradesco and then we have on the sleeves Bradesco and Bradesco I mean it's, I think it's a pretty awesome top I love like how it turned out and I actually really appreciate the company for doing that for me in future I might even get them to make a few more for me um, but yeah, I'm really happy with this. I probably will wear it in quite a few videos. It's a very summer looking theme t-shirt as you because obviously it's Brazil You know, we think of Brazil you think of beaches you think of like Rio or everything uh, So yeah, I actually really like this the quality of it is pretty good for a t-shirt I mean, I would like it to be a lot softer like the Corinthians t-shirt you saw but otherwise it's perfect literally I mean the Corinthians t-shirt was probably about an 8 or a 9. I'd probably give this one I would give this one an eight, but quality wise, but quality wise of like the feel of it and the fabric, probably would be about a seven. It feels like the Sea Wolves top, like it's kind of like how, I don't know how to explain it. A bit like a cheapy material, but not. So it feels okay, but it also it doesn't feel like a proper like nice cotton feel T-shirt. That's the only thing. But otherwise, it looks nice, so I'm I'm happy with it. Okay guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. It's a bit short, but like I said, the t-shirts came. I'm happy of them. Um, unfortunately, I know a lot of you guys probably will want to know where I got them made and how can I make them myself. 
Um, but I can't really tell you because it's not really legal to be doing it. You have to have licenses and stuff to be doing this. So I'm not going to be giving away the company name. Um, I may give it away to the fans that I know that comment a lot, but you guys will have to message me on Instagram or Twitter for that. Um, because I'm not going to put it out there because I want other things made by this company and I don't really want to put them under because of what they've done for me. So, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you go ahead and smash the like button down below to show your support. Uh, as you can imagine, obviously I was going to buy these for myself anyway, but... You know, I know you guys, if I made an interesting video, so please make sure you go and smash the like button down below. Uh, let me know in the comment section as well what you thought of these t-shirts. Would you want to see, like, uh, more of them on this channel, like, if I was to get more in the future? Or would you want to buy one yourself? Let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe as well. We upload rogue videos every single day throughout this lockdown. And then once the lockdown's over, it's like free, free, two or three times a week, something like that. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys. I have been Andrew. I will see you in another video. Peace out, guys.